All right, YouTube. So, as y'all know, this is this is my current truck, and me and my wife just bought a new truck. We got some plans coming up. We're gonna be going on some more adventures, and uh, today I got my brother up here in the background. This is my twin. Y'all have never met him yet, so we'll introduce you. This is my brother Josh. He just got his bow <clears throat> from a buddy from work. So we're gonna go take it, get it all tuned up, get it um, fitted for him, make sure it's good to go. And we're gonna be taking it up to Okeechobee. Pretty freaking excited. Skull Hill Archery. So if y'all are familiar, um, that bow shop does a really good job. Um, we're gonna go see Brandon. He's gonna get it taken care of. And Don't let that go, move. You go. Take that part of your thumb, lock it right in front of your back side of your jaw lock. The knuckle. You want it? Slide. Yep, just like right. You see this right here? That's where I want you to plant it. Right here, right in there. That's the ball, that's the socket. You can go to that point every time. Take so your nose to the string, don't even look at the peep right now. Touch your nose to the string. There you go. Get a little low. Too high. Too high. Good, there's nothing I need to add. Good. Thumb first. Tip your nose to the string. There we go. Finger on the trigger. Go ahead and put it on there. And then start your aiming process. Nice. Heard that thing. You want to move the part. Okay, so this site's pretty cool. This right here, you can break loose and you can move this up, down, left, and right. All right, so we're going to leave the dial at 20, or whatever that is, at the very top. You want to bottom it out. You want to break this loose, all right, and we're low, so you're going to chase your arrow. You go down with the sight. So. Probably, it's probably gonna be a hair high, but I'd rather I'd rather see a difference than keep playing with it. And you know, your left and right's good, so we're gonna thumb first. Thumb, thumb, thumb. There you go. Tip your nose the string. There you go. Finger on the trigger. Now start your hand. Yeah. So that's not bad for your first twenty yard, twenty yard group. All right. Tell me a little bit about your experience. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. I wanted to keep it at 70, but 70, you need to build a muscle for sure. It's first time shooting a bow, it's at 60. We started at 62. At 62, I was still here, but 60, I can be comfortable, so. And nice. it started at 29 draw and we're at 30, so it, it makes a big difference. That's a good grouping. That's a, what about a 10 inch, 10 inch um, circumference? Fatigue definitely could uh, set in for sure. Oh, that's good. Well, you're doing uh, way better than I thought you would for your first time shooting a bow and having good form, which your form is good. And uh, Brandon's a good coach. So you're doing really good. All right, this is 50 yards. First shot at 50. All right, just remember everything he told you. So he got some targets, multiple ranges. He's going to shoot the one way down there in the center. We're going to shoot a group and see how, how he does. I don't know where that even hit. Can't see down there. You hit to the left of the paper. See it? Yeah.
was low on the bottom. So first group at 50, a little sporadic. A couple groups. Um, I would say we still need to go up a little bit. So we gotta come down with your sight. So if y'all ever uh, wanna come down to Okeechobee or if you're all in the neighboring cities, towns, um, Skull Hill Archery, they got an indoor 20 range here and they also have a, uh, a 50 with some other targets. And my brother's doing pretty good. First time, his form looks pretty decent, consistent, and yeah. I think he just hit that little orange thing. As mentioned yesterday, me and my brother, we uh, were at um, Skull Hill Archery in Okeechobee. I didn't do a um, outro, so um, here it is. I actually wanted Brandon, the shop owner, to do it, just to um, explain what he offers and just to, you know, so y'all can meet him. Anyways, Brandon is stellar, owner operator, Skull Hill Archery. You can uh, have arrows made custom, he can fletch them. The whole nine yards, you can come in and order a brand new bow. Bring your bow. He'll restring you, replace cams, timing, tuning, paper tuning. <clears throat> Everything is truly custom. And he works with you until the bow is completely set. All right, once you order it, um, he gets you fitted for the bow, draw length, um, checks the timing, goes through the paper tune. He'll set you in and make sure you're, you're good for 20, take you in the back to a 50 and then you're good to go. Just note that the amount of people that come in though, you will have to wait. So just just give them grace, it's it's worth it. I promise, I've been there, I bought two bows from him and then in between the two bows, I had some, some uh, just maintenance work done and it's just an awesome experience. I have to drive a little bit to him, um, but it's worth it. Just allow yourself a day, maybe drop your bow off, get some lunch or whatever, vice versa. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give him a shout out. It's truly an awesome experience. Um, he takes the time. He doesn't just take your money. He just takes the time and, and, and you will, I mean, if you have any questions, he just does a really good job. My brother can contest to that. He was very happy and very satisfied. You saw him working hands-on. That's what they do. Um, family oriented, just atmosphere. So anyways, just wanted to share that. We got some more adventures. This truck is one of them. I'll show you another one here shortly. Thanks for watching Florida Outdoors channel. We'll see y'all in the next one.